Today we are building what is the final Lego Ideas of the year. After a whole year of building Lego Ideas with you guys, we have arrived at number 52, the Orient Express. We're going to build it, and we're going to review it, and we're going to talk about it compared to the original and all of that good stuff. So let's get into today's video. Hello and welcome to Bricks and Toys. My name is Brandon and today, for at least this portion of the video, we have a special guest, my cat Kiki. It is late at night and when it's late at night, I put up a pillow on my work desk and she likes to join me in my Lego shenanigans. So let's get into our advent calendars for the seventh day of Christmas, starting off with Lego Harry Potter. So let's try to find it on the board. Looks like it's the last one, but the first one. We have something to build, so let's get it built. Day seven Harry Potter looks to be maybe a trolley, maybe the treats trolley from the Hogwarts Express. Interesting. Now let's go and do day seven Marvel. Looks like we have a buildable minifigure. So Day 7 Marvel is a Black Widow minifigure with front and back head printing, so multiple options, an Avengers sweater with the A on the back and the Black Widow logo on the front worked in with some nice little snowmen. Really cool figure. And she's got some whoop your ass sticks. This chick will whoop your ass. Now, let's do 2022 Star Wars. We have something buildable. So day seven of the 2022, we have a little miniature land speeder with the gold and white dots, probably representing C-3PO and R2-D2. Pretty sick. Now, on to 2023. And again, we have something buildable. And day seven for 2023 is this. I am struggling to realize what this is. Anybody in the comments know? Let me know. Okay, so now let's get into day eight of our advent, which back to Harry Potter. Day eight is do 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 do. Oh, it's a third one on this third row. Okay, so we have something buildable, so let's get it built. So for our day eight Harry Potter, we got this Hogwarts sign. It's a printed element, that's cool. Now let's go to Marvel. Day eight with Marvel. Now I know where to look, there it is. And we have something else that's buildable. Let's check it out. So our day eight of Marvel Lego Christmas is these two white little dish elements that go with the gold webs we got a few days ago. And this Iron Man inspired reindeer, red gold with the blue. Okay, interesting. Advent calendars are very strange. So now, let's go to 2022 Star Wars, and we have something buildable again. So looking like Day 8 is some type of shuttle-type ship. Kind of looks like a Imperial Transport shuttle, but gray. And now, let's get to our final, which is going to be our 2023 Star Wars. Advent calendar. I am starting to think four was a bit much, but I really want it to do some really fun content and kind of go over all the advent calendars with you guys. But this might be the last year I ever do this. And this is going to be a repeat of what we did a few days ago on the channel. And that is going to be day eight, which is a Clone Wars era droid. Roger, Roger. Once again, this time in 2023. Talk about just repackage up last year's stuff and put it into this year's. But hey, at least we got two more of those guys, right? Who wants more of those? Don't know. So with that, we can now get into today's video, which is going to be the Orient Express. What do you say, Kiki? You like that idea? I think the cat wants to see a train. So let's do it. The Orient Express. What do I know about the Orient Express? Well, I'm going to tell you guys. Nothing. I don't even understand it. Well, that's not true. 
What I do understand is this was a very, very popular train. It ran for at least 80 to 100 years or something like that. And it was a major train to get you from, I believe, the upper regions of Europe down to India and in between. Everything on the internet about this is very hearsay. It did this, it did that. It's so hard to compile the information. When I found out about this set, I instantly went over, googled the Orient Express, because I love the way that this model looks, and I really wanted to go and learn as much as I possibly could, and all I got was a bunch of hearsay. What I told you is what I know. Other things that I know is it never had a set engine, it had multiple engines, and I guess the main thing about the Orient Express was the luxuriousness of its train cars and not its engines. So I guess the focus of the Orient Express is technically the lower half of the build. Now this LEGO idea set is a little controversial for multiple reasons. And those reasons are, now one of the first topics of controversy for this set is the leading engine. In the original LEGO ideas, the leading engine looked a lot of that of the Emerald Knight. I think that's what it was called. That is an older LEGO set from quite a few years back. Somewhere in the design process, they designed, they decided to chuck that train car design or train engine design and go with this engine, which is blue, and they call it the Sapphire Star. Okay, Lego, I can see for cosmetic reasons why you would do that. Plus, when you research the set, the engine is always different in the pictures to the Orient Express. Now, I have seen a lot of pictures of the Orient Express with the engine that was originally designed by the Ideas designer, but for cosmetic, I can see why Lego would change that. The other thing is, is with the Lego Ideas designer, he, he, they put only one car behind the engine. With the model we have with us, we have now two cars, a coal car, and the engine. So that's another thing. And the third and final big topic of discussion with this is the motorization. They got so close to motorizing this set and then just canceled. The coal car is literally made to hold a battery box. And then I, I heard somewhere that there is a cavity inside of this that you could put a motor with some gears and motorize this cart with a high-powered motor, with the exception of maybe adding some rubber bands. But I think due to the complex nature of this and them wanting to keep the price of the set down, they just scrapped the whole project. They probably thought it was just too elaborate and would require a lot. Now, this does fit on a normal track like what I have in my LEGO City, but unfortunately, to power it would be a lot of parts, a lot of time, and research. Again, there's plenty of YouTube videos for you guys to go out and see that done. That's what I know about the Express, that's what I know about the ideas, and that's what I know about how we got here. Now, let's go ahead, let's just look at the box. Let's just kind of soak in this build for a little bit of a moment. Here at the top, we have the Orient Express claiming that it is 46 inches right there at the top pretty cool in the back we have those two cars looks like we got some some train employees we got people enjoying their luxurious time they really make it look like a really good time to build this set there is really nothing special on this no light bricks like with the Harry Potter Express and I did read somewhere that some of the cities on the cars are misspelled wrong. But again, this is all minor details. And then in the front, we have the beautiful train where it does say, this is an 18 and older set, set number 21344, coming at 2,540 pieces. The trickiest part about this set is, I am a guy at heart. And as a guy at heart, I love trains. Maybe it's my little bit of my autism or something, but when I see trains, I'm attracted to trains. I don't collect trains. 
My favorite thing when I was a kid was Thomas the Train. But I don't do a lot with trains. It's just something that I just didn't grow up with. But when I see a train, I want a train. My mom is the same way, and that's how we got into the Hogwarts Express earlier in the year. She saw it, she bought it, and I built it, and I loved that experience. And ever since I had that experience, I wanted a train for myself on the channel. And when I found out that this set was coming out, I was like, I'm trying to save the money. $300 is, is a lot, but... I really want to do this build and I want to enjoy it with all of you guys on the other side of this camera. So this is kind of my redemption for the for the Hogwarts Express not being mine. In comparison, I do believe it is a lot smaller. It, it may be up there with length, but the overall size and width of the cars and the engine are a lot smaller. So let's go ahead and let's unbox this set and let's see what this 2,500 piece train set looks like. Two pieces of tape gets the job done. And I do believe that this is all gonna spill out onto the counter nice and purdy with no extra boxes and packaging. Perfect. Picking up this random bag of 21 that fell on the floor, that is the next quality control thing that I did hear about as well researching this set, and that's going to be these gold stripes. I guess they are a little bowed and a little wonky, even though the ones in my set are not too bad, but you can take a look at that for yourself. If you guys can see that one right there. I don't know guys. I feel like I have to look at it really close, but I do see how the gold paint is going like that. So that's another quality control issue with this set. So that's 21 bags. I'm gonna say maybe 23 total in the set. Let's take a look at our books. Paper envelope, like usual. I am expecting stickers with this set. So here comes the book and there are the stickers. So when it comes to the stickers, we have a lot of interesting stickers. We have the one that says Sapphire Star, Train Car 52, which is a reference to LEGO Ideas 52. And then we have some mirrored elements like that. And that makes up our first 15 stickers, or our second 15 stickers, however you want to put it. And then we have some internal train car stickers. A lot of double stickers, 15 in total, but it's more like 30 when you count the doubles. And then we have our book, QR code to get our points. Man, this train is really pretty. I, like I said, guys, I don't know trains, I don't understand them, but I've always been, I've, I've always had a secret kink for trains. What can I say? I grew up with Thomas the Train, like I said, and that was my jam when I was a toddler. So we do have 457 building steps and 289 pages to make this build. Let's see the way it breaks down. Of course we have things with the designer. Let's see, can we get a look at the original design? Oh look, there's some history about the Orient Express. From 1867 to 1977, so that's about what, 90 years? And there's the original Orient Express. Let me show you that to you guys really quick. See, right there. You can see how it kind of looks like the Emerald Knight or whatever it's called. And we only have one car. So, interesting. So it looks like we have our first two bags, which gives us a minifigure, and our rail that it sits on. Bags three through nine builds one of our passenger cars and two of our passengers. Bags 10 through 16 builds our next passenger car and a and a luggage trolley, three more minifigures. Our next two bags, 17 and 18, makes the coal car. And then 19 through 23, so 23 bags total, gives us our last two minifigures and the engine. So if I remember right, when we built the Hogwarts Express, we started with the engine and worked our way back. So this one's a little backwards, where we start with the track, and then we move our way to the engine with the cars in the middle. So that is the build, that is the unboxing, 
Y'all know what we're going to do now. We're going to hop and do a time lapse. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to finally get one of my first trains to display in my LEGO studio. This is cool, guys. So enjoy the time lapse. We'll be back here for the review. So everybody, the Orient Express. Now with this review process, it's a little tricky because you guys have to be so far away to see this whole thing for what it is. Again, this is about 44, I think, inches. So it is a very big train to discuss. So we're going to go over the minifigures you see outside of the train and then we will come back through and I will show you the cars and take them off one at a time. A few things I want to note right off the top is obviously this is not the same scale as the Hogwarts Express. It is also a little under half the size of the Hogwarts Express if not a quarter of the size. Also the train track is made to be within the normal rails of a normal train. So the train track is not really as sturdy as it could be. The Hogwarts Express does have a more sturdier train track for displaying the set and a little bit more decorative. This to me just feels like it's just here so the train's not sitting flat on your desk or your shelf. So when moving this thing around, it is a little tricky. You do have a lot of like fitment issues and finishing issues because the plastic is bowed. So you do have that. That 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 is something that you do see with the set. Going on to the minifigures, I kind of got them all stretched around here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on minifigures. It is what it is. It is a Lego idea set. But we do have a older gentleman over here. He's a French passenger, if I'm not mistaken. We have another passenger over here that looks like she is a journalist. We have a car attendant. We have two of the um, train attendants. 
you can see that one of them here is basically more important than this guy. He has a gold band around his hat than this one does. This one's basically a baggage handler. Then we have a fancy passenger over here. Then all the way over here we have a newsboy with a camera. And then we have the guy shoveling coal. So that is the minifigures. So now taking out the, the first car. I did again put in a window backwards. I hate when I do that. I always do that. I have dyslexia. Sometimes front is back, back is front, left is right, and right is left. Up is down, and down is up. Dyslexia. So that is that French minifigure. No back of the head printing. He's just basic. And here is the news reporter. She does have a worried face on the back of her head. And then we have the car attendant, no second face on, on her, but she is serving them drinks. So now let's take out our first car. So this is just going to lift up like that and pop out. So here's our first car. I love how all of the gold is a printed element except for what's on the doors. It's kind of weird, it's like you can't do four more pieces per car, but whatever. At least these things are printed. These are what's important to have printed. Going down the bottom of the car. Pretty basic detail, nothing too exciting. And then we go, and we look at this side of the car, just another side. Taking off the roof, you do grab the roof by the sides of where the names are. I guess a few of these names are misprinted. That is a big thing about the set. And then you can take a look inside of the set. You guys are also can see it's not going to be too bad to fix that window I did that I did crooked. But you guys can see that there is a nice little bar lounge right over here in the corner. There's a really nice mirrored uh, etched painting right over there. Then we do have these nice little tables for drinks and all of that good stuff. Just a lot of little details. Some some wood ornate back over here, or whatever you want to call it, wood paneling. So that is the inside of the first car. Here is our baggage handler minifig right here. No secondary face on him. And then here is more of our train car inspector type guy. He has the gold band around his hat. Like I said, he's probably a little bit more important. Again, no secondary face. And then we have this fancy lady. She looks like one from like maybe the jazz club. She does have two face printings. The other one looks a little mild, but there is that. And then we take off our next car. And that's when we can start rolling our cars. So again, exactly the same thing as the other one. No big thing to get all up tied up into it. Roof does come off. And in this one, I did put our little baggage handling tote right in it. But we do have some baggage just chilling. Now this is more of like the sleeping car, I'm going to guess. We do have a couch with a desk in here. We do have a bed. I don't understand how you could go through the car as it, as it is walled off right on this side. But a lot of nice little detail in this. I like the bed. I like the bath. The bath is really nice. See if I get that turned up for you guys. One really weird thing is that there is some type of like jewels hiding out underneath one of the bunks. That is a one weird, weird little touch. I do like this little bathroom. I think that's a really nice touch as well. It's good detail on that bathroom. Coming up next, we do have our coal car. And our coal car is pretty basic. You can't access the inside, but there's nothing inside to really access. But we do have some steps and then basic construction on the bottom. Nothing too exciting with the coal car. I do feel like there should have been some type of printing on the side to kind of dignify something, but whatever. And then we have the Sapphire Star, the leading engine right here. Here you can see those misprinted gold elements I explained to you earlier. You can kind of see how this one up here is really bowed out and doesn't line up too well with the ones on the bottom. I don't see any room to put a motor in this, so whoever has done it has done it in a way to where they have extremely modified the structural capabilities of the set. 
There we have the back end of it. And we go around to the front. And then up here, these stacks are made of blue minion heads from the minion sets with a bucket for that part. And that does it for that part. We do have some more minifigures. One, a coal shoveler. He does not have a secondary face, but he looks kind of PO'd. And then we have our camera guy without a second face as well. So now let's put all this back together and I'm just going to take you guys down the rail one more shot so you guys can see how everything goes up and you guys can see more inside of those cars and we'll be done with this review. So one more swoop and we'll be good. Okay, now we're going to coming in from above. As you guys can see, the back of the car has that little red little thing with a nice gated off back. So that's how you can indicate. Now we're going to go towards the front, so you guys can see all the detail. Here's the secondary car, the big bed. Every way you look at this, you see something new. And then we just have the standard car, or the engine. You can see those minion heads. 52 is a nod of the 52nd idea set. Coming back over in here. Then you can see those dual bunk beds. It's really, really nicely detailed, this set is. And there we go with that. And then take another look at these minifigs up close. And there we are. So that does it for the review. Now, let's come out. So that does it for the third and final new release of December. Honestly, guys, I really think that this is a really good way to head out the... Well, to me, it's still a new year. It seems like the older you get, the faster the, the years go by, and I feel like I just started this channel. I just started doing a massive LEGO collection just a month or two ago. But no, guys, we've, we've gone through a whole year of LEGO releases on the channel. Maybe not every product, but every product that I deemed necessary, and so did you guys, by all the views and everything. So we're at the end. Lego Ideas number 52, The Orient Express. Honestly, guys, I really like this train. I do wish that they could motorize it, but we'll take our, our trade-offs as they come. It was a really fun build. One thing about building trains that I really don't care too much for is building the passenger cars. To me, it's really repetitive. But with this one having the two different types of passenger cars, I didn't really feel that way. And by the time I got to the second passenger car, I knew the general construction off the top of my head. And that kind of made the build easier. That is one good thing with building the passenger cars, even though I don't really like to. I just hate doing the same big thing over and over again. But I love the beds, I love the desk, I love the cocktail lounges, the restaurant seating. The only thing I really can't figure out with this set is how the hell do you walk straight through the train and back? Because that bed is in the middle of that car. That's the one thing that gets me. Maybe you guys down in the comments below can explain how that works. Do you like apparate through the wall? No, this is not Harry Potter. This is real life, the Orient Express. On the Harry Potter train, that would make sense, but who knows? I know I did a lot of comparisons to, to the Hogwarts Express Collector's Edition, and the reason I did that is plain and simple. That's the other one I built. This is the new one I built. I've only built two. Three counting the passenger train in the city, but that doesn't really count because that's not a, a decoration piece. That is a piece meant to be used, so... So, that does it for, for the video. I really like this set. I do feel like 300 is a little bit steep, but at the end of the day, it is a really beautiful build, and this will look lovely in your house on all four seasons of the year. Part of me wants to see about putting it out on Christmas, but I really don't think I'm gonna do that. Do I recommend the train? Well, guys, yes and no. I recommend the train to any of those who are excited and just cannot wait. 
go out there, get it. It's fun. You guys will enjoy it. It'll make you kind of forget about that $300 price tag that you paid at Lego. But if you're kind of on the fence about it, wait until an Insider's Day. Get your double points or whatever the deal is. Or wait for it to go on sale if it ever does. And then get it because you will still enjoy it. It is super enjoyable, and that's what it is. So with that one, everybody, I just want to say, if you guys want, you guys can leave thanks right down below this video. When you guys do, you guys can leave a little donation. Everything you guys donate goes to LEGO sets, just like this, and supporting the channel. You guys can always drop comments down below what LEGO sets you guys would like to see on the channel in the future. Also, comment your thoughts down below. What do you think about the Orient Express? And with that, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and you all have an excellent rest of your day.